everyone. This is a get started guide for new users to learn Shopmaster in a short time. Now let's begin. First, you need to sign up a Shopmaster account. Click sign up for free. Fill in the email address and password. Tick here and click get started now. Then you will have your own Shopmaster account. I have already had a, a Shopmaster account. Let's log in. After login, you will see a pop-up to let you connect your stores to Shopmaster. Let's take Shopify as an example. Here, fill in the nickname of your store in Shopify. Fill in your Shopify store name. Copy the store URL. Go back to Shopmaster and paste it here. Click Connect. Click Install Unlisted App. Then your store has been connected to Shopmaster successfully. Of course, you can go to Settings and click Manage Channels to connect your store by clicking this button to connect your store to Shopmaster. Next, we need to connect the supplier account to Shopmaster. You can connect a supplier account by clicking settings and then click manage suppliers to connect a supplier account. Also, you can click connect a supplier in quick actions. Here, let's take AliExpress as an example. Click connect. If you have already joined the AliExpress pro dropshipping program, then just click join, go to connect directly. If you have already not joined the AliExpress dropshipping program, you need to click join now. Click submit. After joining successfully, you will see a dropship center in your account. Now go back to Shopmaster. Click authorize. Now your supplier account has been connected to Shopmaster successfully. Next, you need to do some dropshipping settings. Go to setting, click dropship settings. Here, you need to set a price, turn on the price rulers and turn on product monitor. First, let's turn on price rulers. Here, you can set a simple pricing ruler. You can add a fixed value based on product cost. Of course, you can set an interest percentage based on product based on product cost. Click save changes. Of course, you can also set a price formula. Fill in the information according to your requirement and click Save. Then click Save Changes. Next, you need to turn on the product monitor.
you can turn on inventory monitor, turn on price monitor both, or turn on one of them according to your requirement. Now, after signing up your Shopmaster account, connect your stores and the supplier account. Then do some drop, ship, drop shipping settings. You, you are now have made full preparation for your drop shipping with the Shopmaster. Now, you can list the product to your stores with the Shopmaster. Go to sourcing tab and click product importer. Here, Here are several ways for you to import the product. You can copy the product URL and click import to store to import the product. Of course, you can click bulk import. Here you can import by category. Paste a URL of category, then, then you can import in bulk. The Third way for you to import product is by Chrome extension. Don't forget, don't forget add a Shopmaster extension to your Chrome. Now let's find a product from AliExpress. Go to AliExpress and find the product. Copy the euro, go back to Shopmaster and paste it here. Click import to store. Import to Shopmaster. The product has been imported successfully. You can, you can find it in the import list. And click this button to go to import list directly. Click this button to import your, to your store directly. You can import product from all these suppliers supported by Shopmaster. Now let's go to import list to see our product. The product imported to Shopmaster will be all in the import list. Here you can edit the product information as your requirement. Click Save. And in the import list, import product to store. Click Import to store. Then the, pro then the product has been imported to store successfully. Of course, you can select product here and Click Import to Store. It shows the product has been imported successfully. You can find in the draft listings. Click here directly to draft listings or click the listings to store. Find the product imported to store successfully in the draft listings. Here you can edit the product information. Fill in the necessary information. And click save. Then it will be saved in the draft listing. Then click publish then it will be published directly to your store. It shows the product has been published successfully. You can, you can find it in the active listing. Then people can see the product you sell and they will place orders from you, place orders to you.
After you receiving the customer's orders, you need to manage the orders. Go to orders and click orders. Manage your order in the ready to ship orders. Shopmaster will have scenic order information every 20 minutes from your store. You need to play purchase supplier orders for ready to ship order. You can place order manually by click by copy the order information to suppliers. Click click customer customer name, you can copy the order information. When the supplier sends the orders to the customers, they will give you the supplier order information which contains supplier orders and the tracking numbers. You need to fill, fill, in, fill in Shopmaster and mark your order as shipped. Fill in the tracking number and choose a carrier. Click confirm. Then the order can be marked as shipped. Or you can place order automatically with the shop master. This feature only can be applied for four suppliers. They are AliExpress, Banggood, China Brands, and Google Mall. You just click Purchase, Purchase button. Then Shopmaster will help you place order automatically. What you need to do is to pay for orders. Shopmaster will scenic supplier order information from, from, from suppliers automatically and then scenic to your stores. You can mark at mark as ship. You can mark as shipped in bulk, or you can let Shopmaster to help you mark as shipped automatically by set by setting it in the settings. Turn on auto fulfillment, then Shopmaster will help you mark as shipped autom automatically. For eBay sellers, you can receive message and reply message. Here, you can set setting automatic message to customers here. And in the tour, you can, you can manage the images or upload images. Of course, you can set an image category here and click this logo. You can find some useful, useful document here to help you learn Shopmaster better. Of course, you can contact support if you have any question by sending, by sending them an email. About all is all the basic procedure of job shipping with Shopmaster. Any question, please get contact us through email or you can contact us from Facebook. Thank you for watching.